So in this video, I want to show you two things. I want to show you how to insert your Ninja Forms into Divi content, and I also want to show you a little bit about styling Ninja Forms uh, within Divi or within any theme really, but to make your theme or your forms look a little bit better and to match the design of your theme. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Ninja Forms. And within Ninja Forms, they have kind of a default contact form already, and that's the one I'm gonna use for this example. So I'm just gonna create a new page. I'm gonna create a quick contact page, and I'm going to load up one of the Divi layouts that are automatic uh, layouts for a contact page. And then what we'll do is we will delete the default Divi contact form that comes along with Divi, we'll insert our Ninja form, and then we will style it a little bit. So I'm gonna go into Divi, I'm gonna load up their contact page. And you can see this is our basic Divi form. I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna add in a text module. And now in our text module, we're going to add a short code for Ninja Forms. Now, where do we get this? If we go back to our if we go back to our main screen and we click on Ninja Forms. It's going to show us the short code under the short code column. For each one of our forms, it's going to have a different short code. We just copy that. We go back to our text module in Divi. We paste it in, and now it's going to show us our Ninja form. So here it is. Nothing too exciting, nothing too, it's you know just the default styling, and we're just going to save that for now. <clears throat> and I'll just view that page on the front end so you can take a look at it. So this is our contact form with our basic Ninja form and our basic styling. Doesn't look too exciting. Thankfully, Ninja Forms has an extension called Styles and Layouts, which is available from their extension store. And we can use this to really style Ninja Forms to match the rest of our design. So if that styling is important to you and you're not familiar with CSS, I do recommend you picking up that Styles and Layouts extension it's quite inexpensive, and if it's the only real extension that you need, it's quite uh, quite inexpensive, and you can buy these extensions one off. So if you're not needing conditional logic or any of these other things that are available through extensions, which would you know, uh, motivate you to buy one of these packages or the bundles, you can get them one off, and the styles and layouts plugin or extension is available here. And as you can see, it's $49 for a single site. So not too bad, especially if your site is quite form heavy, you're gonna want to really style those forms to match your designs. Uh, so once you've purchased it and you can download it from the back end of your Ninja Forms dashboard or Ninja Forms website, you can also get the license key to activate it from that same place. And then we install it just like any other plugin. So I've installed it ahead of time. I have my styles and layouts, uh, Ninja Forms layout and styles plug in here. So I'll just activate that. So now we have our contact form and we want to style it with the, the layout and styles plugin. And so we'll click on styling. So this is our style settings and you can see we have a bunch of different tabs here for we can change the containers, the titles, the required messages, the rows. We can go in all of those and change all of the different options. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. So if we look at our contact form, we have a single line text field here for the name. We have an email field and a message field. Now one of the main things usually people want to change is the padding and that's gonna make our input fields a little bit better. Maybe we want to change uh, the border color. Maybe we want rounded fields, right? So I'll show you how to do those. So let's look at our default field styles, or sorry, our field type styles. And I'm just gonna grab the single line text field. And we will look at the element, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a border. I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna do a light gray color. And then I'm gonna go down to padding and I'm gonna add in 10 pixels of padding and we'll save that and just take a look at what that looks like. So now you can see for my single line text fields, right? I've added in some padding so you can see the difference here. So this is already looking a lot better, a lot more similar to what we would hope, right? So now I can just do you know my first name and I have some padding here. And if I go to the element, so the element itself, that's the input field. Uh, the text wrap is the, the container around the text. The text label is this actual label here for name. So we can change all these individuals, or individually, sorry. 
and I can say, let's say I want to add a one pixel border with my border color there. So we'll reload that again. And so you can now, I have a border, a border color. I'll make that more obvious so you can kind of see it. So let's do three pixels and we'll do, let's say we want a white background with my border. So I'll save that, refresh. So that's a little bit more apparent, right? Uh, so you probably wouldn't want three pixels, but if you put a slight border on there with say a background color of white, so if we have you know a, a, a colored background or we have our inputs, our input background is white and we have a slight border in there, then that's gonna look a little bit better. Let me just refresh this to get rid of all of the warnings. So we probably don't want that as big, so let's just do a one pixel one for here and I'll refresh it again just so you can kind of see. So now our form fields are already looking a little bit better. So let's do the same thing with our email field. And we'll go to our element and we'll put in 15 pixels of padding and reload. All right, and that's looking a little bit better. So this is 10 pixels, this is 15 pixels. You can see that my required field, uh, you know, those are all styled. We can also change the styling of those. And then we have our message field. And so this is just a way to kind of do some basic styling to make it match the rest of your site. And there's a lot of options there. I am going to link to the documentation, which is going to walk you through what, you know, each one of these different tabs means and the different options mean. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're trying to style. So this tutorial isn't going to walk you through every kind of styling option, but just to show you the power of what styles and layouts can do. And I'll link to documentation so you can kind of build the form that you like using the different styles that are available. I also want to point out that there's an advanced CSS properties checkbox here. So I'll show you kind of what you can use that for. So let's say that I wanted my form input fields to be rounded. And that's done through a CSS uh, uh, style called border radius. And so I can apply border radius to my input fields by using the advanced CSS. So I'm just going to scroll down here to the single line text and I'm going to do show advanced CSS properties. And under my advanced CSS, I'm going to do border radius of five pixels and click on save. And now if I refresh my form again, you're going to see that now I have the rounded corners on my for inputs. Now there's only a few of those that you'd really want to use, like I'll put border radius below. So you don't need to really learn a ton of CSS, but having a few of those and knowing what they do is handy. So I'll put those below there too and give you some examples of what you can do with it. And so that's how we are going to style our Ninja Forms. We're going to use the uh, styles and layouts extension from Ninja Forms, which can be purchased on their site. I will link to you documentation on how to do the different things uh, from Ninja Forms, and I'll also add in a couple CSS classes that might be handy. But it is actually quite simple. You can change all of your you know, background colors and, and the padding and the margin and the different things, and it's really, really easy to set up some nice looking forms. So that is the layout and styles extension for Ninja Forms and how to integrate or insert your forms into Ninja.